Hello again, everybody. Harry Boxer, The Technical Trader. At thetechtrader.com, it's Thursday night, May the 28th. Well, it was an interesting day on Wall Street. If we came down, we uh, held support and rallied for the whole day until the end, at the very end and gave a little back, but it was a positive session. Uh, the bottom line is a lot of our stocks are still trending. Let's take a look at some of them. And ADSX leads the way alphabetically. Interesting tight channel on the way up. After the plunge in at the end of April, beginning of May, that sought, hold the trend line and above the 50 and lateral price support. It then moved up here, a lower volume, and it kind of worried me that this could be a bear flag and it could roll over. But uh, when it broke out here, it started to trend back up. And now we're pushing the multi-year highs to 2448, today's high 2386. Now, it was up 65 cents, less than 3%. But the volume picked up a little bit. And if you can get through 2448, clear ceiling to near 29 and then 32. Those are my targets going forward on ADSX. Blocks, one of our long-term plays and our recent swing. This stock popped, pulled back, popped again and pulled back, but it's held each time. Finally moving yesterday and pulling back again today to test, only to close um, about a dollar off the low, up 26 cents from 1%. Not a big deal, but you can see the volume picked up as it went up, and so did the OBV. Um, uh, and after hours trading, to give you a flair for what it was doing, earnings came out, the stock popped to 27 and uh, nearly a quarter. And so that's the level that we reached pre, uh, post, post, uh, up, post up, and you know, even after hours, I should say. And then, it, um, so now I have a target about 28 and a quarter and a half. So let's see if we can get an extension and rally today, tomorrow to get to that. And if we do that, then we're probably on our way towards the 31, 32 zone, which is a short term target for me. B squares, great swing trade, that think wonderful. It's been up uh, like seven of the last eight sessions since we gave it to you. And that one session it wasn't up, it was only down a fraction and it held near resistance. Then it popped out two days ago. Another 20 cents at three percent today. Mine wasn't huge, and, and but we've reached right near a swing trade target over seven. And uh, hopefully we get a little bit more. We'll see what happens. Uh, CLS has been a monster since it broke out of the base a couple days ago and showed you an inside day. Yesterday it popped, today it popped again. Look at the low. 38.99 to 50, closing at 47.66 up 667 on potential takeover uh, on this one, and it may happen very rather quickly. We'll see. CRR, well, after the stock was on my short list for a long time, in a beautiful multiple wave decline, it formed the base. And the base appeared to have broken out here, but it stalled and flagged and then pulled back in a wedge. Today it popped out of the wedge by jumping 296 or 7.5% and 934,000 traded, which is the best volume in about six, seven sessions. So what I'm looking for is can extend and follow through 44.80. If that's the case, my target is 51, one and a half, and then 56. Well, eyes may have begun to move today. Well, let's have to see what happened. The uh, stock um, in the last couple sessions have been firm. The volume hasn't been huge, huge, but I'm liking the way it's acting in here. Today's pop took it from... 1271 at 14 and a quarter, uh, and it closed at 1389 up 99 cents, 7.67%, 1.2 million. But the key is that it took out this little mini double top, and now it's up against resistance near 1424. Uh, possibly we could see the stock extend, and it may make take a run near the spike high here at 155060. So that'll be my short term target. And the immediate target, if it runs, could be as high as. 18, even 19. We'll see. Acting better, but I want to see volume surge a little bit. I do like the unbalanced volume, which has held up rather nicely over the course of this pullback. You can see how lateral it went. It even picked up a little bit. A positive sign it may be accumulated. FEYE acting great. Today was a good day for it, up $1.81. Over 4480 to get to that 47.25 area. Uh, uh, excuse me, over 46, uh, already 45.64 was resistance. And today it took out the March high, which is 46.44, closing at 46.82, up $1.81 or 4%. Volume was a solid 13 million, the best since February. I'm thinking the way this is looking now, if this stock wants to head higher, and I have targets up around 49.50, 51 area. Let's call it 50, give or take a point. And then I'm looking for 55.6, and then 61.63. I think that this is the um, breakout point of this basing pattern. There's your first retest, and, and this would be wave one and two, and three maybe on the way. GoPro, after a big drop, <clears throat> reversed here with that breakout, but pulled back to test. 
moved up to resistance and backed off again. Today was a breakaway gap day up 353 or 6.6%. 15.8 million, that's the third biggest volume on an update in a year. Looking pretty solid here. We may very well I'll make a run at the, um, let's call it 59.60 range short term and then 68.69 beyond that. INFN snapping back to test key resistance today. Uh, got up to as high as 2079. The high here was 2093. So looking back at it a little bit, look at the overall structure of the pattern. It's a nice rising channel. I've been looking for 23 ish. ITCI put out a swing on this one today as it failed on a swing right there and came down a three wave correct to pull back to the major channel bottom. Over the last few weeks, you can see the slow steady progress. I think one of the keys was it broke the resistance when it popped here, held support, popped to the declining top line, backed off, then poked through yesterday and today followed through. I'm looking for a test at this level. I think the stock is going to start with a move towards 28 and a half, three quarters. If it gets through that, it, we can see 31, 35, 38, something like that. Juno. Well, Juno was a market favorite, but it got whacked in the last month from the mid-60s down to the 40 range. Big drop. But the reversal of the last few sessions, including this little two-day consolidation here, was followed by the pop today of 376 or 8% on a million three. Uh, it looks to me like it broke out. There is resistance at the 50, at 52 and a half to 53 and a half up here. I'll be looking for that short term. And if we go further, 59 and a half secondary target. MDR looks very promising to me. I love the base, the breakaway gap, the flag, and then a strong run up. And now this consolidation. Note the move in the last three days as it popped inside day and popped again. We are right at resistance. We get through here. Six and a half and eight, eight and a quarter are targets for this. And I may put out a swing trade as early as tomorrow. NPTN swing trade acting great after popping and pulling back has gone up steadily, reaching 8.65 today, causing just two cents off the entire rally high, but it looks higher to me. 10 and then 12 and a half for potential targets. SRNE. Popped out of a wedge today. Look at the low volume ebb and the volume pickup today. What I want to see is number one, can it get through 14.30? And then can it get through 15? Once we do that, 16.5 and, and 19.5 and are potential targets up in that zone. SUNE undoubtedly keeps going higher. Another 37 cents over 31 today, closing at 31.05. Not a big gain, but 7 million shares, and the stock is moving steadily higher. There is resistance here, but I suspect we're going to go higher even on this one. Tube. Well, I put out a swing on this today, as I like the overall action, and when you look at the overall pattern, uh, wait a minute, I stand corrected, I'm not sure I put a swing out on it. I'm going to be watching it though for that. It was a day trade that popped $1.69 or 11% on nearly a million. If you look at the volume, that's the biggest volume in weeks, if not months, since back in September. So maybe we're going to test the resistance at around the 18, 18 and a half area, that's my short term target. We get to, through that, then perhaps we're looking at a move up towards 24. And lastly tonight, Zoma popped out of the wedge after holding it for a week and a half. It popped uh, 26 cents or 8% on 9.5 million. And that's the key for me, the volume. And it closed right on the 50. The key is to watch whether we get a follow through tomorrow and whether or not we're able to take out the prior high at 374. So let's watch that zone. My target's 395.4, and then up to four and a quarter, 30. Beyond that, five. But it has to prove something to me. That's it tonight, everybody. Have a good evening. Talk to you tomorrow.